Hi right, guys, so let's do the uniform integers question here. So here they say a positive integer is considered uniform if all of its digits are equal. So that's simple enough, right? So 222 is uniform, 223 is not. And so the problem is given to positive integers, determine the number of uniform integers between a and b inclusive. So we're given a and b in the function here. So a and b can be potentially large, right? And here we're given some examples. So if a is 75, b is 300, then the output is five. Let's see if we can figure out what the five are. So 77, 88, 99, and then 111 and 222, right? So those are the five. So we wanna write a function that calculates the, you know, the number uh, of uniform integers. Uh, between a and b, right? So let me paste in a comment here to show you my approach. So basically the number of uniform integers between a and b is equal to the uniform integers less than or equal to b minus the uniform integers less than or equal to a minus one, right? Because it's inclusive, all right? So we consider all the uniform integers, you know, between zero and, and b here and then all the uniform form integers between zero and a minus one, and then we subtract you know, this from this. So that would be one way to, to solve the problem here. Uh, now we just need to figure out how do we calculate the number of uniform integers less than or equal to, uh, to a number, let's say b. Uh, well, let me paste in some more code to help explain my approach here. So basically, you know, the number of uniform integers less than or equal to b is equal to the number of uniform integers of length one plus of length two, and so on, up to length of the integer itself, b, right? So that makes it fairly easy because the number of integers, uh, uniform integers of length one is nine, right? Number of uniform integers of length two is also nine, right? And so on. Um, so here it's one, two, up to nine, right? Here it's 11, 22, up to 99, right? The only tricky case is, um, is when you're considering integers of the same length as b, right? Because then it's not gonna be all nine, right? So if b is 300, then it's just 111 and 222. It's not the other ones. So that's the only tricky case, but that's not too hard. Um, so let's start coding a solution. Um, so it's gonna be, well, first of all, I'm gonna uh, create some variables, length a and length b. And by length of an integer, I mean just the number of digits, right? Um, so we can do that with the string function, right? So length of string of a, length of string of b. You could also do it with a log function or, so, or some other way, but this is an easy way of doing it. Um, then um, the number of uniform integers less than or equal to b is going to be 9 times length of b minus 1, right? So this, so 9 here and then 9 there up to the length of, you know, b minus 1. And then to figure out this case, we can do a floor division, right? So we can do um, b over int of 1 times length b, right? So in this, if b is 300, then we're gonna divide 300 by 111, right, to get the number of, um, um, let's see, to get, to get the number of uniform integers less than the number b, but st still having the same length as b, right? So that's the trick here. And then, so now we have the, uh, now we have this value here, right? So uni b is going to be this value here, the number of uniform integers less than or equal to b. Now we just need this value, but it's going to be essentially the same thing. So let me copy and paste that. So uni a is going to be uh, going to be this. I'm going to do a minus one here. Um, we want to include a, right? It's inclusive. So now we just can return uni b minus uni a. Um, so see if that works. Um, this took a while for me to figure out, but uh, but this is like the simplest solution that I could uh, come up with.
and that works, right? Of course, there are other ways of solving the problem, but this is uh, one of the I think, easier ways to, to think about it and to understand it and to solve it. So thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, feel free to leave comments if you have questions or other solutions. So anyway, thanks for watching.